the western wall in the old city of Jerusalem. For thousands of years this has been the focus of Jewish religious life, the last remaining section of the Holy Temple originally built by King Solomon. And at the heart of the ancient service in the temple were the priests, the tribe of Levi who played the music, and the Kohanim, the descendants of Aaron who performed the priestly duties. Today, the Kohanim can be found delivering the priestly blessing during prayers, a haunting remnant of the age-old ritual. Rabbi Yaakov Kleiman, director of the Center for Kohanim in Jerusalem, has brought together the first Cohen Levy conference to discuss the relevance of the priesthood today and their possible role in the future of the Jewish people. We look at the Kohanim, we look at the tribe of Levi, it's the tribe that didn't get lost. We maintained our identity and our uniqueness throughout history. But who is a Kohen? Professor Karl Skoretsky of the Haifa Technion has discovered DNA evidence that suggests there really is a connection between the Kohens of today and the priests of ancient times. Individuals who share, that is individuals who share the tradition of being members of the Jewish priestly group, called the Kohanim as we know, uh, seem to have a statistically higher likelihood of sharing markers, specifically markers that mark male ancestry. And they seem to share a common male ancestor dating back to the temple period or the biblical period. There's a tradition, there's an oral tradition of a male patrilineal, patrilineal dynasty beginning with Aaron Akoyan, going forward, and therefore it's really analogous. We'd expect the Y chromosomes to be alike. I think that DNA research and genetics research basically gives us a picture that indeed there is a male dynasty that goes back in tradition that will be renewed, and exactly how uh, is something that I think is difficult to predict, something that will come with the building of the Third Temple. For Ira Kaplan, a musician from Los Angeles, being a Jewish priest means more than just delivering a blessing on the festivals. When I stand there with the other Kohanim to give the priestly blessing, it is an extraordinary experience. Um, it, is, it is an experience of love, it's an experience of joy. Above all else, it's an experience of unmistakable holiness. <laughs> What about the future? Rabbi Kleiman believes the time has come to carry the priesthood into the 21st century and prepare for the building of a new temple in Jerusalem. Well, the Kohanim are the manpower of the temple. Um, so it requires the, for there to be a temple, it requires that there be Kohanim who fit the, the role, who have all the qualifications and all of the uh, necessary uh, learning and uh, preparation. Um, when that temple will come, how it will come, this is, these are things that are, are somewhat hidden. But uh, there's a prophecy that uh, the Jewish people will be scattered throughout the world and re regathered, and then in the process of time, uh, the temple will be reestablished. Micha Harari is already building the musical instruments which he hopes one day to see being played in the Third Temple. We're Levites and uh, this is what we played in ancient times. And uh, at that time in the, in the ancient temples there was 4,000 harpists that played at major holidays. And it was an essential part of our, uh, our whole service towards God. In fact, uh, Almost nothing moves without the harp or the lyre. Well, we're preparing for the, the, the real temple, the one that will last forever. It just continues to amaze me. They're like these, I don't know, I don't know, these, these Jedi masters of the Torah. <laughs> so if you're a Kohen and you heard it from your dad and you've got it in your DNA, it looks like you could be a member of the biggest kahuna in the world. This is Matthew Kalman for JTN, Jerusalem.